So the part of the 1983 San Diego Chargers Don Coriel playbook that probably really actually want to get to, although I think we got some good stuff out of some of the other parts. There's always little little nuggets that you get, uh, even though it's maybe not the most fascinating. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this is not the most fascinating pass playbook either, pass structure. But let's talk about the passing structure, uh, which is the page that we're on right now. The XYZ system, uh, all patterns are referred to by numbered routes. A primary receiver may be designated by, um, preceding the numbers by calling X, Y, or Z, and the outside receiver on the designated side will get the first call, followed by the other two receivers across the board. If there is no designation, then the call will come from the strong side of the formation. So a few examples here. If we called a, for example, a Z, 849 that's giving you the route that's telling you the Z is the primary and then he's running an eight route which is a takeoff or a go uh, that the next receiver over on the strong side uh, is the tight end he is running a four which is an out route and then the X is running a nine you could tag any of those as the primary based on what you want to do what you want to see exactly uh, and the nine is is a uh, post route out here so, um, your, as we look at the routes, you can tag the routes as well. So you can tag, it has an example of a two up two is two up is an out and up. Uh, so you can tag routes. It's got your backfield routes, your basic, uh, you know, your backfield routes are there, your inside receiver routes and your outside receiver routes. I'll run through them very quickly, but this is the way that they are numbered. Um, and this is the route tree system. I don't use route tree. I'm not a fan of the route tree. We, we, our plays are packaged, uh, but I certainly understand it. I, I see why some coaches like it. My thing is you have an infinite amount of flexibility, and I love flexibility, but sometimes people go a little too far with their flexibility, right? So that's, that's my concern there because when I look at, okay, I've got this infinite number of routes that I can combine together, there's only a few combinations I really want to use very often, and I'll just tag everything else. I'll just give it a name instead of numbers. Different ways of doing things, uh, but that's that's kind of where I stand on it. Backfield routes, zero is a flare. One is a check down, which is like a hook route that we use uh, in the pistol power offense system. Two is a flat or a shoot. Um, three is a circle route, just kind of coming around uh, and trying to set up over that tackle area. Four is a fan, I guess. Uh, and by the way, odd numbers are always inside breaking. Even numbers are always outside breaking. So five is a hook uh, coming out around what they call a hook, which is coming out around the outside of the tackle box and then setting up for a hook at six to eight yards uh, or hooking up like a like you do with a stick route kind of thing at six to eight yards. The flag, go to the outside, run six yards up like you're running a seam route, boom, bust it to the to the corner route. It's, it's kind of like a corner, six to eight yards. The break is almost always six to eight yards on these routes if it has a break on it. Uh, seven is an in. Eight is an up, which uh, the up tells them to split the distance between the end man on the line of scrimmage and the wide out. And then nine is a post. Inside receiver routes, zero is a diagonal. These are, these are kind of quick, so I'm, I'm going to guess that both of these are just like catch and throw kind of things. I, I'm, I remember seeing a tag for a looky before. One is a looky. It's your kind of tight end pop pass. I'm just guessing that diagonal zero is is out doing the same type of thing. Uh, it's a quick, quick um, on a blitz read. It's a quick like token fake, boom, tight end pop pass type of thing is a looky. So diagonal, I'm guessing, is kind of the same thing. Uh, one being used for an inside blitz and one being used for an outside blitz would make sense. Uh, short bench, which is an out. Bench is an out. Uh, short bench is a two to four yard out route. We would just call it a shoot route. Across is a drag route. That's three. Four is a, uh, a what we would call a deep out. For them, it's just a regular out. Uh, it's an out route, 12 yards. It's a bench route, four. Again, four even, so it's out. Five is a hook at 12 yards. Six is a corner route at 12 yards. Seven is a slip route at 12 yards, essentially a dig. Eight is a seam, five yards width on the seam instead of just using the hash landmarks because it's the NFL, and if you ran hash landmarks for a seam, you'd be staring at each other holding hands. Nine is a post. Um, so that's your 
and a lot of these carry over. And then your wide out routes, zero is a hitch. One is a delay slant. Uh, it says a four to five yard slant, so it's not an immediate now slant. It's a, a you know one, two, three, three step slant probably will get you to four to five yards uh, most likely. Quick out is a seven to nine yard out. That's a two. Three is a quick post, which is like a deep slant. Uh, has a one step fake on it. Uh, it's a it's a real deep slant. Four is an out. Fourteen to sixteen yard out. That's that's big time out. That's a, that's a deep out. Hook is I guess I would best call this like a comeback route. Fourteen to sixteen yards. That's five. Six is a corner route. Twelve to fourteen yard break. One step post fake and then break to the corner. Twelve to fourteen yards. Uh, in is your again your dig route. 14 yard dig. Uh, eight is a takeoff. And nine is a post with a one step fake to the corner. 12 yards post. So that's your that's your route tree. It's got quick screen to the Z, very, very basic. Uh I guess a catch and throw to the Z. Nothing, nothing special there. Drop back 121 green. So now we know how it's called. So it says 91. I guess these are the same. Maybe that's an audible. Maybe 91 is the audible call for it. 121 green 66. 121 is telling us that we have from the strong side, since there's no receiver indicated, is telling us that we have a one by the outside receiver, which is a, uh, a quick in route, whatever it was called. Uh, that we have a two by the by the Y, which is kind of like a shoot. That we have a sixty six. Okay, and then we have a one, another in. So these are quick ins by the outside receivers. A shoot route by the Y. The sixty six looks to be the route for the backs, and they are running corner routes. So six is a corner route. So. Play call structure, 121 green. Green is a seven-step drop protection. 121 green, 66 being the routes for the backs. So seven-step drop, coaching points. The pattern is good for five to seven yards. Uh, Run from the right and the left only. I'm guessing that means the hash because I don't know where else you run, but from the right or the left. Reads and routes. Um, the reads, the quarterback reads the mic strong, go to the X. If the mic is weak, go to the Z, uh, straight back, look him off and throw opposite. If the corners jump the X. So it's a, it's your basic trigger type of read. Um, but with a pre-snap trigger read where we're saying, if he's here, go here. If he's here, go here. Okay. They want to throw the in route for sure. If the corners jump the X and the Z, then the A or the B comes open on the corner. So the idea is if the, if the cornerback wants to get up and play the in-breaking route, then we're going to throw the corner route to the running back. So kind of a smash concept with a running back out of the backfield. Okay. Different time and place. Okay. X and Z run five-yard one routes. They read the corners for the roll-up. They must release inside the corner. Y runs an eight-yard two route. And the A and the B uh, look up the Sam and Mike as you run the six route. So there's your first one, Air Corio. Then we have 92, which is X202 Black. X202 tells us that the X receiver is the... And again, these aren't necessarily the favorite routes of the 1983 season. This is for an exhibition game. But it is interesting to see... I mean, one of the things interesting to see is the simplicity uh, of, of these route concepts. These are basic out routes, so 202 is going to be outside breaking routes. We had, what, 121, and now we have 202. Uh, 202 is going to give us that um, Y, what was the inside zero? The diagonal, okay. That's the diagonal. So 202, X202 tells us the X is the primary, uh, so that's the strong side. Uh, so 92 is X202. Again, I'm, I'm guessing that 92 is the audible on that. Uh, it does give instructions down here as well. Uh, it says for the quarterback, it's a three-step drop, black protection, black and white or three-step, just cut protection. Uh, the keys are the corner depth 
and the Walt, which I'm guessing is the weak inside linebacker uh, or outside linebacker, I'm not sure, uh, and the strong safety alignment. Those are your keys. Three-step drop in cover three, read the Waltz. Read Waltz. A read Waltz drop and the weak corner roll up in cover seven. So we're, we're working off that weak side, uh, trying to get this, get the X some room. Cover seven, go to the Z. I believe cover seven was, I think, I think cover seven was a quarter, quarter, half. So that's kind of, I have to go back and look at it. But X and Z run speed two route. That's bad. And there's no mention of the diagonal as the zero. I guess we just kind of coaching points. So down at the bottom, it tells the strong read and weak read. Uh, it tells you that if you read cover three, read the strong safety drop. If you read cover two, audible. If you read cover nine, audible. If you read cover seven, read the corner alignment. Cover four, read the corner alignment. Cover five, blitz, read the corner alignment. I didn't go through the names of all the coverages because they don't match up with any of the words that I use or probably that you use either, unless you are a Coriel disciple or whatever, uh, coached in the, in the early eighties in the NFL, maybe. So some information, that's just the kind of information that's given here. Uh, coaching points, the pattern is good for five to six yards. So I think that's interesting. I, I guessing that is saying like, if it's, you know, if we need five or six yards, this is a good call. If we need eight, don't call this. Obviously, it's a speed out, but it's good. Any down by third and long. It says any down by third and long. I think that means but third and long. Run from right and left. Then we have X313 white. So three is going to be our our delay slant. or our, It says delay slant. Uh, so it's going to be uh, max splits. So that would be 12, unless they go further than that. 8 to 12 is what was said. So 12 would be a max split. 313 is going to be slants on the outside. A one is a, a hook for the Y, what I would call a hook. I got to keep going back to these. Uh, oh, that's your looky. Okay. It shows, it looks like a hook, but it's a, it's your looky. Uh, is your little pop pass type of thing out of the Y. And then you have flares. So it's a slant, slant arrow concept, slant flat concept with the split backs being the flat receivers. So slant. Uh, with a flat route, your split backs being your flat guys. Uh, so it is X313 white. White is a three step coverage, chop, you know, cut, uh, three step coverage, three step drop. Slant is a three step route. Uh, this is going to be like a five yard, four or five yard slant route. White 000 are flares uh, by the backs. So that's your, that's your slant concept there. Pretty, I mean, these are not, again, you can package all of these. And I know that these are so far pretty simple, but just in how they're packaged, we've got a 454, great engine. Uh, X or Y 454, red check 55. Red is your, uh, it's, it's a seven step in this case. So red was the first protection that we looked at. Uh, this is 94, by the way. Red check 55. We haven't seen check. Um, maybe, I wonder if that's, okay, check is, uh, check 55 tells the running backs to check release. So they're checking, and then they can release to their five, which is a circle. Looks like a circle route. Uh, so 454, your five is, uh, again, I, the inside routes are baffling me. Uh, five is your hook, so 12-yard hook. And your outside uh, four routes are your deep or your comeback routes, basically what we said before. Um, he calls them hooks, but they're – you know, they're 12 to 14 yards comeback type of things on the outside. So that is four, 14 to 15 yards. Uh, why release inside when possible? Coaching points, good against corners, playing deep and inside. It is a – it says why call ghost goalpost or middle. You can run it from all formations. 868. Eights, takeoffs, go, go routes. Uh, six is a corner route. I keep having to go back to this. Yeah, six is a corner route for the tight end. So you've got 868. So this is Y868. This is designed to run off the uh, – it appears to be designed to run off the corners and get the Y 
out underneath it. Pattern is good versus cover two. So there you go. Uh, kind of a kind of a smash. It's uh, okay. Now that I I look far enough ahead, it's a it's a flood concept. We're gonna run. It's it's exactly what it is. It's a flood concept. We're gonna. I don't, I don't know what their cover two is. I believe that their cover two might not be our cover two, and so that's where um, because flood. I mean, yeah, flood works there, but so it is. Uh, the Z running a takeoff, uh, so it is Y868. You're expecting the Z to, to, to blow the top off, take somebody out of there, whoever it is. You are then getting the uh, 868, the six route by the Y. Red is your protection. B, check, two. So specifically, you're telling in red protection, remember that the A and the B back, uh, or the running backs have protection responsibility. It was a seven man protection with the running backs. Now you're telling specifically on this to create the flood concept. B check two gets a little wordy. Okay. Y eight sixty eight red B check two is the tag here. The, the, the back on the strong side, the fullback, he is going to check release to a shoot route. And that's going to give you the go and then the corner, which we say the corner, it's a 12, 10 to 12 yard six route is what it said here. Okay. And then the shoot by the, by the running back. If he check releases good verse cover two. And again, um, I'm not going to scroll all the way back up because it's going to take me forever to find it and come back. Uh, but I believe cover two may have been a little bit different than what we're used to calling cover two. Check a couple more here. 696 red check 22. Uh, excuse me. X 696 red check 22. The audible call, I guess I'm thinking was 96. Uh, 696, your six routes on the outside, outside breaking corner routes. Uh, those break at 12 to 14 yards. Inside release versus cover two look is the instructions given to the X and the Z. The Y is running a, this is almost like our Poco route. Um, almost, it, it, in fact, it is. 696, for those of you that are pistol power offense system, this 696, X696 red check 22. Um, and remember, red check 22 is red protection. The backs are both checking and then running twos, which are shoot routes or, or flat routes or whatever you want to call them. So checking to the flats. The idea, um, this is good pattern versus cover two, it says, and corners who will jump the post, uh, run it from right to left. So the, the nine route is a post route. It's a, it's a skinny, obviously, because it's a Y uh, run basically at the upright. Uh, or it's split the hash mark, so it's run, you know, run it straight down the middle of the field. So the Y is going to hold a safety, and then you're, you're going to try to get basically a one-on-one or a shake out there with the X or the Z. That's what we're trying to do when we run this concept. So, again, X 696, red check, 22. Y or Z, 778. 778 is the first – First one that we have not mirrored routes by the X and the Z. Uh, 778, check 22. Uh, red check 22 uh, is going to be a kind of a follow. The Y is running, uh, and I should say, if we say Y778, they're both running seven routes. So they're both running dig routes. They're at slightly different levels, okay? But the 778 is going to get a... A cross and not a crossing, a an in route by the Y. It's going to get an in route by the Z. Remember, we're just in a regular old what we call pro formation, uh, what was just called a right formation with the tight end and the flanker, the Z to one side, the X to the other side, split backs. Okay, so we've got a dig, we've got an outside dig like a follow, and then we've got a 778. The X is just running a takeoff. And then you've got check 22, so both of your backs checking to the flat. Good pattern versus cover three. And man, okay, so good pattern versus cover. I would agree with that. I mean, I'm not going to disagree with anything in here. 898 is goes. It is It is get it. It is nothing but get it. 898, X898, red check, zero, zero. Um, so they're checking to flares. Uh, out of the backfield, it's your red protection. 
It's go and get it. Let the ball go on the fifth step. So this is a five step, five step drop. Um, probably a matchup. One, two, three, four, five. Run it from all formations. Pick a matchup. Throw it in a spot over his outside shoulder type of thing. Fade eight route. Nine twenty nine is a post out concept. I would say uh, nine twenty nine x nine twenty nine red check thirty five. Is and again, one of the things here is that a lot of times the Y is not running the the concept we respect him to, but in this case, in the nine twenty nine, he is running the out uh, concept here. Uh, I think it's I think it's a four or five yard out route, and the nine being a post route. So that's just a post out. B delay eight fifty eight green eighty one. B delay step up so eight fifty eight is uh, your five route, is the uh, hook. The eight routes are takeoffs on the outside. The Y is running a hook. And your backs, A, has an 81. Okay, so eight is the the A running a, it's almost like a verts concept. The A is running a, a go route to the outside. The B delay and then he's running an 81, and a 1 is, is a little angle um, or hook or check down, I guess is the word that we want to use here. Check down. Step up. Find an opening in pass protection. Delay until the A has cleared. Do not rush. Uh, y, run the route. Run the 5 route at 14 yards. And I guess you're getting a kind of levels. Uh, again, getting a, a vertical uh, kind of separation in the defense here where you've got that B delay, that 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 running back, fullback, getting out in that check down area a little late, no rush to get it to him. It uh, doesn't mention a particular drop, but I'm guessing that you want to get these guys clearing out of there and then get the linebackers clearing out of there and then hit that fullback over the middle late if you don't see anything you like. Okay, so a couple more here just that are Y slow. Um, y slow is 419 green 66. You've got a four route on the outside, your, your hook, okay, for, for the on the call side, the Z. You've got the one by the Y, which is drop two, drop step two counts, and then run a one route over the ball. Drop step. So he's a he's like a wide delay. It's a uh, it's a looky. I keep forgetting what the one is. It's a looky, but he's gonna like. Pass, protect, and then release. So why that's hence the why slow. Green protection is your seven step protection. Okay, so we're gonna try to get I guess get the Y ignored here, and then we have uh, green sixty six. Uh, excuse me, four one nine a nine route by the X. So a post on the backside going over top, and and then we have nine routes or sixty six. We have corner routes out of the backfield. Nothing else. I mean, there's a lot of other – there's other route concepts, but they're not we, – we, let's look at the spread stuff here. We do get some spread here. Uh, we get into some one-back sets with the quarterback and shotgun. So I was wrong. The quarterback gets in shotgun eventually in this playbook. Uh, gun 74. Gun 74. Uh, is, again, I think is the audible. Um, 454 Ray. Okay, 454 Ray. So this is a three-step from the gun. Five-step drop. 454, comebacks on the outside, um, and your fives are hooks on the inside. So little gun, little gun there. Good versus corners who play deep and inside, and again, it's just your hook out of the gun. We've got gun 868 Ray. I don't know what Ray means. Oh, well, Ray is your pass protection. I, I'm i assuming it was in here. I just It was so far down in the pass protection, I didn't spend any time on it. Um, but Ray, okay, so we got that. And um, 454, 868 is takeoffs and corner routes behind them or out, kind of deep out route. Like, you know, we wouldn't call, we wouldn't call a go with a corner behind it because of just like, you know, the arms <laughs> that we have and the speed of guys. But that's kind of your, your, what we what I've called a bench concept or a sideline concept where one guy runs deep and the other guy runs uh, an out route behind him. Uh, good quarters beater. 
there. He doesn't say. He says good versus cover two and man coverage. Uh, I like it as a quarters beater. And we've got gun 626, which is corners, um, corner routes, post-corner type routes. They're corner routes, but they're they're shake routes out there uh, with two routes, shoot routes behind them. And, I mean, almost all mirrored concepts. And, again, so that's kind of where there's so much – there is a ton of flexibility – uh, I like the fact that the play actions, they can tag them however they want. Um, we're not going to go deep into the play actions because we're over time as it is, but uh, like Y719, it is um, 54 or 55 protection rule. I don't know what that means. Um, y is running a shallow. How do you know? Okay. I write. 54Y719. I'll have to go back and look and see what 54 means. Like, is that indicating protection? Is that a play action protection? I believe it was. That sounds right. And it looks like the backfield action remains the same. So 54, 55 is like, this is our play action look. I'm assuming it's off of a four or a five type of look, like you run a, um, you know, a, a four or five run, an ISO or an off tackle dive type of play, and just giving that look for it. So that's the way that the play actions are called. 54, 55, roll Y hook 407, showing that, that that's your rollout rather than just to pull up uh, and throw it. So lots of play actions in here. Lots of play actions going through. I'll have to go. I'd love to go and watch some of this film. And knowing that so much of it is up on YouTube, I think it's worth taking a look at just to see how some of these things. Maybe this maybe this preseason game was on YouTube. Probably not. Preseason games, no. You got a lead draw. Man. Screens. Okay, they're all in there if you want to check them out. Goal line. I think I just want to mention the last page in here before we go, and that is the spread punt. And it is legitimately essentially – uh, a spread bunt. We have two yard splits. Uh, we have, you know, it's it's essentially your spread bunt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Yeah. Instead, of, it's, the only thing it's not it's not a shield punt. Um, the the guys are up, but the the last page I think is interesting that it's in the offensive playbook, and I wonder if offensive players were playing on the punt team specifically or, 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 you know, how I assume there was still some substitution, but the last page of the offensive playbook is the spread punt. So fun stuff. To check out.